this was how we made 290 pips trading the bitcoin in one day using the simple support and resistance trading strategy if you have a look at the screenshots this is it here the btc usd which is the bitcoin and of course we had price moving up in this manner but then started to pull back as it was pulling back we will have areas of flip zones flip zones also has to do with support and resistance here was a key area here here was another key area here here was another area here and then here was another area here as it was pushing higher so while pushing higher you can see my hand is not that straight but i will try my best so you can see as i'm pushing this straight here this particular area was the main reason for our entry and then we had another one right over here right and of course this final one here so this was what we did after we watched price react here resistance acted here as support bounced up broke out came back to this one former resistance acted as support now you can see how price is breaking resistance and then coming back to act as resistance and then also going back to that same area to act as resistance again so in as much as price might look like it's moving in a zigzag it's not a clear pattern to the upside or to the downside you would always see the initial support and resistance levels coming back to act as initial areas of interest what do we mean area here was resistance as you can see price came back and acted as support support over here area here was former resistance price came back and acted as resist as support here even after it broke to the downside price came back and acted as the original as we said resistance resistance here so you'd always see how price is playing out price broke out here didn't get back to the highs here got like halfway and then pushed back down broke the support you can see the massive counter that broke the support it's all about paying close attention to price paying attention to the size of the candles as well because the size would obviously mean uh volatility at that point in time price broke out here push back again to where push back again to the area of support can you see it has acted as support in the past and also as resistance flip zones flip zone is an area that acts as support and resistance it changes whenever it breaks to the other side now this was where we got our entry price pushed back up to this area here again to the area that has acted as what has acted as resistance in the past and support in the past as well go back here and then we had these candles here these two candles here that were our trigger this was our bearish engulfing this engulfing bearish candle it was our rejection and then we use that as a form of our entry and once we entered here you can see price went down massive candle here as it had this massive candle here normally i could have had my final take profit here but i paid attention after this massive candle down to this place here we had this inside bar my thought was we should have a breakout and then even use this area as a form of what as a form of resistance and go further down but it just smashed through and went down and this was when we took our profit over here based on this previous area of resistance so this here acted as support and then later pushed up so we got in here got out here and this was good for about 290 pips for the bitcoin in just one day in one day this might not seem much to some but it's not even about the number of pips that we made but rather it's about the play and we always say try to have a playbook it's about how price how the action of price the behavior of price the trend of price the movement of price gave rise to the support and the resistance levels which now give us the entries at all of these key areas of interest and you can see how price was flipping from the support to the resistance this chart well this image this was the chart that we took but this image screenshot it it depicts a nice support resistance flip and of course once you can identify this you can patiently patiently wait for your trade opportunity to come and then you get in 
and then you can get out at the next bus stop or whatever. Support resistance, keep it as simple as possible. Let the trades come to you, let the opportunities come to you. Even if you have to wait a while, trust me, 290 pips with a nice lot size will be a good amount to hit your target, right? Patience is very key in the business. And of course, discipline is very key. And that's why we always say have a trading plan. So this was my trade 290 pips in one day using the support and resistance trading strategy on the Bitcoin. For other trades I will take, still using the support and resistance strategy, I will definitely do videos explaining so that the videos can help you to also look out for them in the future and then take advantage. Okay, thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. Trade safely. Don't forget to use your stop loss. Don't forget to use your appropriate risk management parameters, volume, lot size, based on your account balance. Okay, thank you and goodbye for now. Cheers.